to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mani. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, my friends. You really made my day. I feel very happy, and I wish all of you here to feel like this every day. <laughs> wow, nice glasses, Amani. Thank you, Kibana. Okay, Amani. Keep opening your presents. Maybe we can find something that I like. <laughs> Are you tired, Koba? It was just 11 boxes. And 10 boxes are already open. And I'm not even close to getting what I like. What you like? This is not your birthday, Koba. <laughs> this gift is from my friend Zuri. I met her at the music camp I attended back then. Do you remember? We know the story, Amani. Open it. Hmm? Huh? What is this thing? It's a chicken figure. I think it's a key holder that's made to look like a chicken. It's just a toy. It's a necklace. You see, I can wear it like this. So it doesn't matter what it is. It's definitely a thing that I have no use for. Again, this is not your birthday, Koba. Amani, it's a necklace, right? I'm not sure. Just make it anything you want it to be. You want it to be a necklace? Wear it. A key holder? Make it a key holder. Or throw it away and pretend that you've never received such a weird gift. No, I can't do that, Koba. That is not dignity. And dignity is Utu. Zori must have spent a lot of time preparing this gift for me. If I do as you say, it will be like disrespecting her and our friendship. So, what are you going to do? I don't know. What if you call her and ask? Yes, that's the way to go. Let me ask my mother for the phone. Hello, Zuri. Hello, Amani. Happy birthday. Thank you. And thank you for the gift. You're welcome. Do you like it? Yeah, but I do have a question about it. A question? Yeah. What is this thing, Zuri? <laughs> I knew you couldn't figure it out. <laughs> That's not a gift, that's a riddle. And I want you to solve it by telling me what it is before 6 p.m. If you solve it, I will send you the real gift that I have prepared for you. And if you fail, say bye-bye to the most amazing gift I ever gave any of my friends on their birthday. Hmm, a riddle? Okay, challenge accepted. Okay, good luck. Did you hear what she said? Yeah, so where do you start? I don't know yet, Kibena but I'll make sure I solve it before 6 p.m. You can just ask your mother. Yes, that's a good idea. Mom, can you tell us what this thing is? Hmm. I don't know, but I can tell that it's made from a cow's horn. Cow's horn? If Mzekigo had not traveled, we would go and ask him. He knows a lot about animals. We would definitely get an answer. What if we ask someone else? Someone as expert about livestock keeping as Mzekigo. Who is that supposed to be? Aunt Mema. She knows a lot about animals. Aunt Mema! Coming! I'm over here! Wow! This is a lot of eggs, Aunt Mema. What are you doing? Why are you putting them in the closet? It's not a closet, Kibena. It's a fridge. Not everything that looks like a closet is a closet. And not everything that is in a box shape and made of metal is a fridge, Koba. <laughs> Welcome, kids. Thank you, Aunt Mema. What are you doing? And is this a closet or a fridge? Is this a closet? Is this a fridge? If it is neither, then what is it? Mama Chicken, please explain! Where my back pocket is? It's an incubator. It does my job for me. It keeps my eggs warm until they hatch. 
keeps on incubator does what mama chicken does <laughs> Okay, okay. So this thing here is called incu incu what again? Incubator. Okay, kids. Listen, I was arranging eggs in an incubator. This may look like a closed door fridge to you, but it's not. It's an incubator. It's a machine that creates the perfect condition for an egg to incubate and hatch. I know what hatching is. It's when a chick comes out of the egg. But what does incubate mean, Aunt Mema? By the way, my name is Koba. I know you, but I'm not sure if you know me. <laughs> I've heard of you, Koba. And to answer your question, as Mama Chicken said, eggs need a proper warm condition for them to develop and become a chick. So, to incubate is when a bird, for example, a chicken, sits on eggs in order to keep them warm and safe so that they can hatch a chick. We call this an incubator because as you know, Mama Chicken can't sit on as many eggs like this. So this machine does the work of Mama Chicken. Come here, I'll teach you how to use it. Oh, Aunt Mama, you're the best. Always something new to learn from you. <laughs> Thank you, Gibena. Can you teach us about other cool technologies for livestock keeping that you use here in your farm? Yes. Sure. Hey, I can. Sorry to cut you short, Aunt Mama. It's okay, Amani. I really like your technologies here and everything you've just taught us, but today we have come here for you to help us to solve a riddle. Can you please tell us what this thing is? Yeah, I can tell you. Where did you get it? A friend of mine sent it to me as a birthday gift, but I couldn't figure out what it was. So I gave her a call to ask, and she told me that this thing is a riddle and she wants me to solve it by telling her what it is before 6 p.m. So we decided to come to ask for your help. But Amani, why should your game and fun stop us from learning serious things? We didn't come here for that, Kibena. But Amani, you can't just- Okay, kids. It's fine. Amani, I also love riddles. Really? So much. When I was young, my dad would give my brothers and I riddles. One thing I learned about riddles is that they're fun and make our brains sharper. And in order to truly enjoy them, you have to solve them yourself. But Aunt Mama, my friend Zuri didn't say I couldn't ask for help. That's alright. But as they say, the harder the game, the sweeter the win. I would love your riddles to be as fun for you as they were for me. So, how about I give you kids a riddle? And then, when you figure it out, Amani, your reward will be getting to know what this thing is. And Kibena, I'll show you all different technologies that I use for my livestock keeping here at my farm. Okay. Good. Wait for me here. I'm coming. Are you ready, kids? Yes! yes. Good. Koba, here, take this and read it aloud. It says, my name is Miss M-O-O. -O. My favorite song is more. Come to my place, we can talk more. Nice. Do you get it? Is that a riddle? Yes, Kibena. As you see, I keep different animals here on my farm. And I put each of these animals in their own section. The riddle I've prepared for you wants you to read it and figure out which section to go to. And what to do once you get there. I hope you can do this. Together. Yes. yes! Good. You can start now. Bye. So where do we start? Can you read the riddle again, Koba? My name is Miss M-O-O. -O. My favorite song is more. Come to my place, we can talk more. My name is M-O-O. -O. That sounds like the initials of the name. See, my name is Amani Erasto Kaduna. That means my initials are A from Amani, E from Erasto and K from Kajuna. So my initials will be A, E, K. That means Aunt Mema gives her animal names and one of her animals is called Miss M-O-O. -O. Which animal is that? 
Wait, isn't Miss M-O-O -O a cow? A cow? Why? Maybe Cobba read the riddles wrong. Maybe it's supposed to be read like this. My name is Miss Moo. My favorite song is Moo. Come to my house, we can talk Moo. I get it. Moo is a cow sound. Wow, you are smart. Now, let's go to the cow's shed. Here we are. Er, uh, there are a lot of cows here. It's just for cows, Amani. Okay, let's get in. Amani, let's go. Why are you standing outside? Um, I'm coming. Just, just continue. I'll join you. Amani, I know what's happening. You're afraid of cows. But you know what? You're with us. Nothing to worry about. And also, you're so courageous, Amani. And your courage has helped us do so many things together. You can do it, Amani. Come in. Let's solve the riddle together. <sighs> okay. Hey, look! Three milk bottles. But there's no milk in them. There's just a piece of paper in each bottle. Maybe they have a message for us. Let's take them out. Mine has writings on it. It says, I make a drink. Mine too. It says, get a bottle of milk. Mine reads, for you, my guests, come. Hmm, what does this mean? I think one of these is trying to tell us what to do next. What about the other two? Maybe they're just here to confuse us, just like the initials in the name. So which one is the right one? And that is a riddle to solve, Koba. Can you read yours again? Yes, I make a drink. Does anything ring in your head? You know, cows produce milk. Maybe that is what Koba's paper is trying to remind us of. And then? I don't know. We are supposed to solve this together, Koba. Let me read mine. Get a bottle of milk. Hmm. Can you read yours, Amani? For you, my guest, come. Maybe the cow is trying to tell us to get milk. Where do we get milk? These three bottles are empty. <laughs> Maybe we're supposed to meet the cow. <laughs> to milk a cow? No way. Ah, this riddle is too hard, guys. I'm not sure we can solve it. No, don't lose hope, Kibena. We can do it. I mean, what if Koba was right? Ta-da, ta-da. Da -da 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 -da. What if Koba was right? What if this is the way? What if Koba was right? This is how to solve the mystery. Because only two of these sentences make sense. Get a bottle of milk and I make a drink. But my sentence, my sentence makes no sense. For you, my guest, come. Psh, that's not even a complete sentence. But maybe we can arrange the notes to make a complete sentence. I mean... What if Koba was right? What if this is the way? What if Koba was right? This is how to solve the mystery. What if Koba was right? What if this is the way? What if? Ta da ta da. Ta da ta da. Ta -da, ta -da. Woo! We got, we got it. it. It, it says, says, I make, make a, a drink, drink for you, my guests. guests. Come get a, get a bottle, bottle of, milk. of milk. Now I get it, Amani. The riddle wants us to milk a cow. But no one here has done that before. How are we going to do it? I saw Mzeki go doing it once. He first cleaned the cow's udder using hot water, and then he put the bucket under the cow's udder, and then he started to squeeze it out. You make it sound very easy. I'm not sure if that's how to milk a cow. Yes, that's how to milk a cow. Aunt Mama, you have startled us. Were you there all that time? Not all the time. I just came to see how you're doing. Congratulations. You've solved the riddle successfully. Thanks. We did it together. But Amani was the fastest to get the clues. Oh, how do you feel, Amani? Great, Aunt Mema. I can't tell you how fun it is solving a riddle. Nice. Aunt Mema, you said that's how to milk a cow, right? Yes. But I use technology. Technology? 
In milking a cow? Yes, Kibena. Aunt Mema, what else don't we know about technology in livestock keeping? It seems there are a lot. It's true. Technology can do a lot in livestock keeping. In short, it can do almost everything the livestock keepers do. The goal is to make the livestock keepers work easier so that they can do their tasks faster, efficiently, and get more profit from it. For example, you can milk many cows in a short amount of time and with better quality if you're using a milking machine than using a hand. In the road far main, there's no way to improve every task day by day. Technology is here to lend a hand and make everything easy to attend. From milking cows to cleaning feeders and hatching eggs to checking health. Technology is here to lend a hand and make everything easy to attend. Technology and farming. Technology and livestock keeping. Technology is here to lend a hand and make everything easy to attend. Aunt Mama. Is there any technology that we can use to talk with animals? <laughs> Currently, there isn't any Koba. But technology is advancing every day. Perhaps one day you will become a scientist and create technology that helps farmers talk to their animals. That's so cool! But currently, there are many technologies used in livestock keeping. There is technology for feeding animals, Technology for cleaning animals, technology for providing medicine and treatment for animals, and more. Please teach us about all of those technologies, Aunt Mema. Don't worry, Kibena. And also, that has reminded me of the price I've promised to give you after solving the riddle. Amani, the gift that your friend gave you is a whistle, and it's made from a cow's horn. This whistle is used as a musical instrument in some cultures around the world. Wow, thank you, Aunt Mema. You're welcome, Amani. Aunt Mema, I have a question. Yes, Kibena? Were we playing or learning? Because I feel like I've learned a lot, but I also enjoyed it so much. And that was the point. When you came to me, I didn't want to give Amani the answer to her riddle directly because Kibena you seem to think that learning isn't supposed to be fun. That's why I gave you that riddle. To challenge how you think. Hello, Amani. I hope you're not calling for help. Help for what? I have solved your riddle. Wow, you did a great job, Amani. Sure. But please don't ask me how many cows and goats I had to deal with to get the answer to your riddle. <laughs> cows and goats? Tell me more. No, not today, Zuri. Today, I want to know, why did you send me this? The whistle? Uh-huh. Okay, it is because when we were at camp, you were telling me how not having musical instruments blocks you from making music. But a long time ago, people used things around them to make music. Things like trees, animal skins, cow horns, and so on. I think we can also use things around us to make music. Thank you, Zuri. You are a good friend. <laughs> Just like your name. <laughs> and your real gift is on the way. Can you guess what it is? We're done with the riddle, Zuri. Just tell me what it is. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see it when it reaches you. Did you like this video and want to watch more? Yeah! Subscribe to get exclusive access to premium content and more. Only in the Bongo Playroom. Free for download today. The only place you can watch, sing, read, play, and learn with all your favorite Obongo characters. What are you waiting for? Available in English, Kiswahili, French, Hausa, and more.